Welcome back inside Lovell Edwards Stadium on the beautiful BYU campus in Provo, Utah. Tonight, the 2-2 two and two and somewhat banged up BYU Cougars host the 2-2 two and two Connecticut Huskies. Bang them in the pocket. Deep downfield into coverage and is catch made, catch made by Taryn Houck at midfield. A spectacular grab by Houck out of double coverage. This week we've done a lot of drills, a lot of time put in for film and just on the field, really working on being physical and, and getting open against man. Bernard split backs, the handoff to Francis Bernard, and the freshman has his first touchdown as a BYU Cougar running between the tackles. Olile, as they bring in extra backers and sheriffs, evades a tackle, takes off and is tripped up. A nice tackle by Bronson Kofushi. They're bringing just the four. Sheriffs steps up. There's some congestion. He backs up, takes off to his right. Kofushi's going to get him and help to get him right at the line of scrimmage. It's almost just like the gates of heaven are open right there. <laughs> and you're just running as fast as you can to run through there. And Carter, snap, Tanner, three-step, force out to the right. Heat is on, evades a tackler, goes for the end zone. There's coverage, and it is intercepted in the end zone. The big penalty, and then the big play. Play action boot for Sheriffs. Throws to a man wide open on the wheel route. Touchdown, Arkeel Newsom, 7-6 with the PAT pending. So a missed field goal a blocked field goal, a fumble, and an interception have ended four BYU drives. BYU 7, Connecticut 7. Um, disappointed and angry. I don't know which is worse, mad or angry, but um, yeah, just because we weren't playing cleanly enough um, in the critical moments. In the shotgun, it's a straight sprint right. He throws, oh. intercepted, it could go. Mangum is the tackler and forces out of bounds at the 35-yard line. We knew we were doing a good job of you know, moving the ball. So it's frustrating not being able to finish the drives. BYU blitzing, coming hard, getting sheriffs as he throws. It's picked off. Bronson Kafusi interception, and BYU first and 10 at the 22-yard line. That was a critical play in the game because of the, the change in momentum. And Tanner looking, firing, end zone. Matthews there, leaps, and makes the catch for the touchdown. Now there's that height advantage that really helps out BYU's receivers. Play action. Tanner. Far side, Matthews again, another touchdown for the Cougars. And they open up for now a 13-point lead. BYU showing pressure. Picked up for now, and now it's not. Drilled. Pikula again. Pressure comes in, he evades it, stumbles, stays on his feet, looks downfield, more pressure, steps out, throws while being hit, Inca has intercepted! At the 30-yard line of BYU, the run back by Michael Shelton to the 35. So anytime you get a win, it builds momentum everywhere. The team, the fans, uh, the coaches, you know, builds our confidence. So I know that, that'll you know, motivate us to work even harder next week to be able to come out and be even better 